Hello students. Welcome to the course Deep Learning. I am Shah Jahan Abu Bakr from Department of CSE AIML, KITS College of Engineering, Kolar. In this course, the first unit is the introduction to the deep learning. So, the first lesson is introduction of artificial neural network. The objective of this lesson is to understand the basics of artificial neural network. As we all know, today in this world, we cannot imagine any industry without the usage of the word artificial intelligence or AI. We can see any examples like the banking industry or uh, automation industry, sports industry, even in education, everywhere we will talk about artificial intelligence. What is an artificial intelligence means? Means any task which the computer is performing which requires human intelligence. If the machine uses some kind of human intelligence, then we see, we say that it is artificial intelligence. We can see some examples like visual perception, translation between languages, decision making, etc. Like uh, artificial intelligence is a broader concept. So, coming into the uh, exact thing, we can say the machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. In olden era, when we wanted to do some task, uh, we need to program the computer to do that task. But in machine learning, the machine will learn without explicitly programmed. So, the machine itself will learn to uh, do that task. So, deep learning, which is again, which is a subset of machine learning, as you can see from the figure, uh, artificial intelligence is a broader concept machine learning is a subset and deep learning is a subset of machine learning. In deep learning, what we have doing is, it's like a simulating the human brain. So, the neural network which we have in the human brain, we are making an artificial neural network. Then we call that network as deep learning network. We can see this is a, an example of a neuron in a brain. So, in our brain, we have billions of neurons. We can say it's more than 10 billions of neurons in particular. Each neuron, the job of each neuron is to receive input from many other neurons and it will change its internal state, what we call is activation. It will activate its state, then uh, that output will be passed to another neurons. So, you can see the figure of a neuron here, in that we have the nucleus at the center part, then there are dendrites which is used to connect the output from the other neurons. We can see a lot of dendrites here. So, it will receive output from the other neurons, it will activate it, it will pass through the axon, then through the axon terminals, it will pass to pass its output to other neurons. Okay. So, how many neurons can be connected to a single neuron? Can you have any guess? In the last figure, we have seen only a few dendrites, but how many neurons can be connected to a single neuron? You can pause the video and just uh, guess it. Yes, it is more than 10,000 neurons can be connected to a single neuron. Here, artificial neural network, we are comparing the biological neuron with the artificial neuron. Here, we have an example of a single neuron. The neuron has got dendrites in the biological neuron. The similar way, in the artificial neuron, we have inputs or interconnects from the other neurons. We can see here x0, x1, x2, etc., xn. So, this will be multiplied by weights w0, w1, etc., wn and these values like w0, x1, 
W1 X1 uh, sorry W0 X0 W1 X1 etc WN XN these outputs are sum, summed up and this summed up output will be activated using an activation function and will be passed to another neurons. We will talk about the activation function in our coming lessons. Do not worry about that now. So, it is similarly we are simu uh, simulating the biological neuron. Okay. So, in biological neuron we have uh, inputs from other neurons which will be weighted sum and pass through the axon and will pass to other neurons. So, just consider one neuron. What is happening in this one neuron? The inputs from other neurons like x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, etc. will be passed which will be multiplied by the weight w1, w2, w3, w4, w5 and this weighted sum will be calculated which is done by the summation. Once the sum is calculated, we have an activation function to activate it, then it will be passed to other neurons. Consider an example of a price, housing price prediction. So, this kind of example we will see in uh, machine learning algorithm like linear regression. So, what is doing here? We want to predict the price of a house from the size of the house. We have only one parameter which is called the size of the house. Based on the size of the house, we will predict the price of a house. So, here consider we have a data set which is having 6 houses. So, we have 6 houses. Each house we have the sizes as well as its price. So, we will be plotting that. You can see in the graph in the x axis we have the size of the house and y axis the price. So, 6 x marks we have marked correspond to the size we have the price. Okay. So, now we want to know the price of a new house from the size of that house. How we do that? We try to fit a function for this from the linear regression. We can easily fit a straight line as you can see in the second figure a straight line is fit there. So, by a new we want to find out the price of a new house. What we will do? We will find the size of the house, go to that line which will intersect at the y point, we will get the price. Okay. Now, how this will be done using a neural network? Yes, we just have only one parameter which is the size of the house. From that we are predicting the price. So, we need just one neuron. So, we can say this is a single neuron network which accept a input size of the house and it will get the price of that house. Now, just imagine when we have to predict the house price, if we have multiple parameters at the input other than the size, we need more number of neurons. See here, consider this example. We have here size of the house, number of bedrooms, area like pin code, location and wealth of that position. These are the different parameters. Then how we will go to predict the price? See here, these have four input parameters x1, x2, x3, x4 which will be connected to three neurons. Every input parameters connected to every neuron. So, you can see the connections from x1 it is going to first neuron, second neuron and third neuron. Similarly, the x2 it is connected to first neuron, second neuron and third neuron. Likewise, the other two also. So, the neuron may be is a parameters derived from the input parameter. For example, size of the house and number of bedroom may be used to find the size of the family. If your size of the family is big, we need bigger house as well as large number of bedrooms, etc. For example, area, for ex if there is an area which is nearby to some schools, walkable distance, bus facilities are available, that can be also uh, uh, contribute to the factor to the price of the house. 
Similarly, wealth, if it's a Porsche area, which having all the facilities, good, good schools, everything, then it will also depend the price. So, these input features may contribute to the price of the house. This is how the, you can say, um, neural network will work. So, we, we have seen here, it has got input layer, which contains three neurons. Similarly, uh, in inside layer which is called hidden layer which has four neurons and output layer which is again a single neuron so this kind of network is called artificial neural network so uh, for an artificial neural network or simply we'll say as ANN consists minimum of three layers the first layer should be the input layer the final layer is the output layer and there should be minimum one hidden layer as you can see here now, when you have multiple hidden layers, more than one hidden layer, then we will call that artificial neural network as deep neural network. So, for a deep neural network, the depth is very high. The depth means the number of hidden layers. So, here you have here input layer, output layer and one, two, three, four hidden layers total we have six layers out of that two are input and output layers and the other four are hidden layers so this kind of network we call as deep neural network so in the how this work how the input is traveled through the network this will be seen in our coming lectures thank you